Moving on to China. China has been in news for over a week now over a mysterious respiratory illness. And the country is grappling with a spike in respiratory illness as it enters its first full winter season since it lifted COVID-19 restrictions. The government is calling for vigilance with cases among children appearing to be especially high in northern areas, including Beijing. Now, it sparked speculations online of a new pandemic threat four years after COVID-19 first emerged in the country. A World Health Organization spokesperson said that it does not look like the spike is due to unusual or new pathogens. In the current outbreak of respiratory illnesses, the reported symptoms are common to several respiratory diseases and as of now at the present time Chinese surveillance and hospital systems report that the clinical manifestations are caused by known pathogens in circulation. Microplasma pneumonia is a common respiratory pathogen and a common cause of pediatric pneumonia and is readily treated with antibiotics. Meanwhile, Nepal is now on alert as China reports the spread of mysterious pneumonia virus, influenza, COVID-19 and respiratory syncytial are common viruses circulating in Nepal that is leading to sickness and pneumonia. Now, concerns were first sparked internationally by an alert published by the monitoring service ProMed on 21st November, and it reported that some Chinese hospitals were overwhelmed with sick children due to a pneumonia outbreak. Now, the World Health Organization then asked China for more information, citing this report, and China responded to its request and also provided the data which suggested that the cases were linked to the lifting of COVID curbs along with the circulation of known pathogens like mycoplasma pneumonia. And according to WHO China, China also started monitoring the mycoplasma pneumonia for the first time in mid-October. In the latest, Beijing State Council attributed the flu-like illness to lifting of COVID curbs. It said that influenza will peak this winter, leading to an increase in lung infections. It has also warned of a possible rebound in COVID infections. However, parents in Shanghai said that they are not overly concerned about the spike in respiratory illness in children. They're optimistic that the epidemic will blow over. The WHO recommended that people in the affected areas follow the normal rules to avoid respiratory illnesses, and these include getting vaccinating, vaccinated, isolating if symptoms emerge and getting tested or wearing masks if necessary.